What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen 720, and I am back with another video. And let me start my saying: even though I didn't make this great cup of this great cup of coffee, or it's still a great cup of coffee. Now, with that being said, so. If you're new to my channel, sit back, let me explain to you what's going on. If you're new to my channel, testing, testing, testing. Let me stop bugging. But anyway, if you like I said, if you're new here, if you don't know, go back to my, maybe about two weeks ago, you'll see what I'm talking about. About two weeks ago, uh, Drew McCoy, uh, lead producer, whatever the case from the game Titanfall, uh, tweeted out a diss of Titanfall 2. But what he did was, you know, he tweeted out the PlayStation 4 version. Hear me out. I forget the gentleman's name, an Xbox fan. He said, hey, Drew McCoy, hey. Oh, you know, I'll, hey, can I get that game? But I, I prefer to have it on the Xbox One. If you're going to give it away or whatever the case may be. Drew McCoy responded back to him, his tweet and saying that green discs aren't as sexy as, you know, blue or whatever the case may be. And it started a shitstorm on Twitter with the Xbox community and um, Respawn Entertainment. Respawn, Respawn Entertainment are the curators behind Titan, the Titanfall franchise. Hold on. Behind the Titanfall I have it digitally also. Titanfall. So I not have one, I have two copies of this game. So people were upset and you know what's the whole shit. So so during Big Gamer Small Talk, I said, you know, uh just jokingly, I said, Hey, thank you for crapping on Xbox fans. Where's that bomb that bat? What's on the table, baby? Just happy Halloween, as you can see. I said, thank you for, you know, for crapping on Xbox fans. Just, you know, just jokingly. Didn't say anything nasty, say anything. So me being Next Gen 720, you know, a very vocal Xbox gamer, you know, a uh, fan, um, and pretty known within, you know, the gaming community, uh, that tweet that I sent went to, you know, uh, Verge and all these different websites, Polygon and Saying it was a big, you know, fanboy war. Fan, my Xbox fanboys are upset, but they used my tweet, and I got, of course, I got a bunch of backlash. Um, uh, they were saying, you know, you, you guys are mad because you tweeted out the the PlayStation Four version of the game. Now, mind you, now this is like something I and again we talked about this yesterday in the show. Mind you, quote unquote, Microsoft is supposed to have the marketing deal to quote unquote Titanfall, but it wasn't about. There you go, baby. It wasn't about him tweeting the diss. It was the fact that when the gentleman, the, the Xbox guy, said, hey, are you going to give it away? Can I get it on the Xbox? Drew McCoy's rebuttal of that was, hey, green dust aren't that sexy. Now, he went on to say that green discs are the, um, or the, the, how they make the game and it's the, the demo version, whatever the case may be. Now, the, the average Joe Smo don't know the average gamer. All that guy, I think his name was Eric. He just asked if you're gonna give it away, can I have it on the Xbox? So all that shit talking about Drew McCoy, he didn't, he didn't, you know, he didn't mean anything by it. Stop it. He didn't ask you for what demo version. All he asked you, can if you're gonna give the game away, can I have it on the Xbox version? That's all. You know what I mean? So everything died down. Then it was Vincent Bella and all that shit from the actual Respawn Entertainment. From their actual own Twitter account. Went back and start retweeting that shit all over again. <laughs> Xbox fans were livid. Now me personally, I'm going to say that I heard it was a great game, the campaign wise. A lot of fans were a little turned off by, a lot of Xbox fans, diehard Titanfall fans, were turned off by Titanfall 2. Because they said they didn't feel like Titanfall 2, like they dumbed it down more like Call of Duty. You know what I mean? And I did say this then, and we talked about this on BGST, crap talk, well, you know what I mean, again, it's not to 
that more like cause I, I'm not that big of a guy into shooters. I'm not. I'm just being real. And and um, but I do support my platform, Xbox. I'm an Xbox dude. You know what I mean? I support my exclusives because I like the end of the day. I like you know Microsoft for their their library just to consist of more than Halo, Gears, and Forza. You know what I mean? So when the other games, I'll, even I, I'll give them a try. Just hear me out. So, um, a lot of Xbox guys were turned off by this. You know what I mean? So, a lot of them, you know, uh, the fact that they dumped it down. And that wasn't much that they, they, they went multi-platform. the fact that they dumped it down. It didn't, it didn't play like the first Titanfall. If you got an Xbox One now, and you just picked up Titanfall 2, try Titanfall you know, one you'll see them time. Or if you have a PlayStation 4 and you got Titanfall 2 on your PS4 and you have an Xbox One, try Titanfall 1. See, the big, it was started with the backlash because they don't want to develop it with these lies. They said the game couldn't be made without Microsoft and the Azure servers and the cloud computing and all this stuff right here. So gamers kind of held them to this, you know what I mean? And she's now, I want to go to Best Buy right quick. Is it possible? All right, you know, help, you know, gamers held them to this, you know what I mean? So, Shopping about some headphones. I was having. So, you know, the gamers held them to this, you know what I mean? But the fact that the respawn actually went back out there and retweeted it, got, you know, gamers all riled up again, it reflected in itself. So, they're saying here that Titanfall 2 sold less than 25% of Titanfall 1, and that was on the 360 version. The game bombed. So maybe, because mind you, this game here, Titanfall 1, sold about 10 million copies. Now forget the fact you launched between Call of Duty and Battlefield and Gears of War, which I think was a stupid month to put Titanfall out. They should have waited until next year or came out in September, if they could. The later the better they put it, or put it out in December or something. They put this game out between Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Gears of War. Three big shooters already, you know what I mean? And then a little tweet that he did, you know, as far as the X, a lot of Xbox guys feel shaded, feel jaded. And then they pulled the game from the EA Access. It was a lot of things being done. So a lot of Xbox fans said, you know what? I'm not buying your game. I, I, I'll get it from Redbox. I'll pick it up used. And you know what? Respawn has no one to blame but themselves. Now, I'm on Twitter and... You know, of course, you have the mic in the office and say, oh, it's all right, it's no big deal. A, they have the marketing deal. B, the more software is sold, more money in Microsoft pocket. So, of course, they're going to say everything's all right. And I don't care. I don't work for Microsoft. I told you guys this before. I don't do it for Phil. I don't do it for Aaron. I don't do it for none of those guys. I do this for me and for you, the regular Joe Smo. I don't work for Microsoft. You know what I mean? If they, like I said, I don't mind calling Microsoft out for something they do that I think is fugazi. I will call them out. You know what I mean? So, you know, they're right now they're trying to play peace on Twitter and this, that, the other. The fact that that should, should have never happened, we're not talking about some, some you know, some, some Roscoe's chicken and waffle. We're talking about a $65 game that you want people to go out there and buy. And they were trying to pair it to the quote unquote, to the bigger demographic, to the PlayStation side of things. Well, look at me. I have a. I have a, well, I'll, I'll have a PS4 Pro when it comes out, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? So, I'm a gamer before anything, you know what I mean? Even though I may prefer the Xbox, but if Sony got something like I always told you, I, I'm going to play it. I'm a gamer, you know? But the sales reflect, we consider the day, of what that black, that, that, that PR should, you know, that not even mostly PR, that there was distasteful tweets that they were sent out, you know, last week. Don't ever bite the hands that feed you. It was Xbox gamers that put you where you are. That make this game be accessible what it is. And now Titanfall 2 is going to bomb. I told you this. You know what I mean? You know, they wanted to, you know, Petty, they wanted to, you know, uh, put it on multi black Cool, fine. No, I said you got it. But then you guys dumb the game down. Um, you know, it wasn't what Titanfall 1 was. Cloud computing, the grunts and the, the, the titans and all that stuff. Titanfall 2. I'm not saying it's not a bad game. I looked at the 15 minutes of the um, the, the, the campaign. Because this one, this one here, Titanfall 1 lacked the campaign. I looked at, you know, 15 minutes of the campaign on IGN. And the game looks great. Amazing graphically. It looks awesome. You know what I mean? 
But a lot of people were turned off by those things. That green, green, this and the sexiest blue. Uh, now guess what? Those sales of Titanfall 2 and the sexiest Titanfall 1. <laughs> Damn, don't. I'm just saying. Hey, man. Don't ever get too cocky. So I be telling you developers and stuff, man. Don't forget who put you where you are. Who the hell am I? I'm nobody, right? He's just next in Tony, but he got 10,000 subscribers or whatever the case may be. He's a nobody. Get yeah, whoop de whoop whoop de whoop. <laughs> so the sting's a little, don't it? <laughs> Leroy, you warmed up yet? Hey, Vince Appella, you warmed up yet? Now, tell me about that green disc. Is that green disc as sexy as that blue disc? How about that green money? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Now, I'm not buying this shit anyway, though. I'm just keeping it funky. You know what I mean? I don't like, hey, hey I, you know, crap went out and bought it. But that's crap. Crap is his own man. I'm not buying it. Uh, I check it out, you know, I don't like the fact that I play for EA Access and EA publishes the game. They pulled the game from EA Access and the first Titanfall was in EA Access. I didn't like that, you know what I mean? Then I didn't like the, the, the comment about the green disc, you know, fine. And then they go, and then not, not, listen, not Drew McCoy, the actual Respawn, uh, 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 Respawn uh, was Entertainment, the actual Twitter account goes back and retweets all that shit all over again. And sales are an indicative that this shit bombed. You, this is what you get. I'm out of here. Bang, bang.